Catalyst. My name is Joey Calixan, a licensed professional teacher specialized in social science. Today, I will be presenting to you my demonstration teaching. Along with me is my weekend lesson plan. Okay. Good morning, guys. Please stand up and prepare yourself for the prayer. Okay, uh, before you sit, please make sure that your area is clean and piece of the piece of paper, pick up the piece of paper. Okay, very good, very good. So, how are you feeling today? Very good. You're feeling good, you're feeling great, and I hope you feel the same way until the end of our discussion. Okay? Class secretary, is there any else today? Very good, very good. Today we have perfect attendance. Alright. So, last meeting, I give you an assignment. Uh, please prepare your assignment and pass it forward, and I will be the one to check it. Okay? Very good. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have a quick review on the yesterday's topic that we had. So, what are, what are the topics that we had yesterday? Yes, Mario. Very good, very good. So, yesterday we talked about the three forms of the government. And what are the three forms of the government? Yes, Amanda. Very good, very good. So the three forms of the government are the democracy. Yes, that's right. That's right. So I assume that you understand our topic yesterday. Because today I will introduce to you a new topic. But before we proceed to that, I have prepared some pictures that will be flashed on the screen. You need to identify if who or what it is. Okay? Did you get it, class? Very good. So, please, everybody is encouraged, okay? Here we go. Yes, Shane. Yeah, that's right. The senators of the Philippines. And this. Yes, Kai. Yes, Senator Joel Tunenero. Correct. Well done. Yes, our president, our very own President Roa Rodrigo III. And this? Yeah, that's right, Senator Panfilo Lapso. What about this? Yes, Kai. Yes, very good, very good. So, they are the members of the Supreme Court. Okay, very good. And this? Yes, Jerry. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Senator C. Chavillar. And this, everybody? Yeah, that's right. Senator Manny Pacquiao. And this? Yes, Mario? That's right. Our Vice President of the Republic, Lenny Rombrello. And this? Yeah, Chief Justice. The current Chief Justice, Alexander Bismondo for your information class. And here we go. Who's this? Everybody knows him, right? Our very own Congressman William Monroe. Okay, why did I show you the pictures? Because our topic for today is relevant to the pictures that I have shown you. Okay? So do you have any guess? What was our topic today? Yes, Jerome? Yeah, very good. Good guess, good guess. So today we will be discussing the three branches of the government. So what do you think are the three branches of the government? Here we go. We will tackle it one by one. So the three branches of the government were the executive branch, legislative branch, and the judicial branch. Today, we will able to know what are the functions. Okay? And we start with executive. I will start with the executive branch. Okay. This is the branch that the president works
Europe's team, along with the Vice President and the Cabinet members. So, what do you think? Their function? Yes, Shane. Yeah, good. Nice job. The executive is an organ exercising authority in holding the responsibility for the governance of the state. You really it right. So, authority in holding the responsibility in the governance of the state, and of course, the executive branch is the branch where they execute and enforce the law. Okay? So, the executive branch also enforces the law written by the legislator and interpreted by the judiciary. So, they have all these partners. Okay? So, this executive power is vested to whom? To the president. That's right. You heard it right. So, the president is also the commander in chief of the armed forces of the Philippines. And he is the head of the state of the government, our president. And besides that, he also represents our what? country. Yes, our country in the international community. So, did you get it, class? Did you get it? The function of executive branch. Well, very good. I assume. Thank you. So, we will proceed to the next um, branch. The next branch is the legislative branch. So, upon knowing the executive branch, who do you think are the person that comes to this branch? Yes. Kai. Yeah, good, good guess. That's right. So, the legislative branch, this power is vested in the Congress. No? The Congress, which consists of what? The Senate and the House of the Representatives. All also known as the senators and the congressmen, right? So their main responsibility class is to create the law. So every senators and congressman can be the author of a bill, okay? So we need to take note of that. Do, do you understand? Do you understand the function of the legislative branch? Very good, very good. Now let's proceed to the last branch, which is the judicial branch. Okay? So take note, class, that the judicial branch, what? What, what was the power? So the power is vested. To whom? To whom, class? Supreme Court of the Philippines. Or the lower court established by the law. The tribe. And their main responsibility is to interpret the law that the legislative branch has created. Okay? And they say that the actual controversies involving the right, it is legally or demandable. That's right. That's right. Yes, any additional? Yeah, very good. So they are also the punishers of the violators of the law. You need to take note of that class. And of course, they interpret and apply the law in the name of state. Did you get it, class? Do you have any questions or clarification? Okay, very good. And for that, again, I would like to uh, know if you really understand our lesson. So, again, can I ask some questions? Okay, very good. So, again, what are the three branches of the government? Yes, Jackie? Yes, the three branches of the government were executive branch, legislative branch, and the judicial branch. Very good. So, today we will have an activity, and I need you to bring yourself into three, and I will give you five minutes to do that. Alright? So, count one, two, three. Alright? And all number one will sit here, all number two will sit here, all number three will sit here. Okay? And I will give you some flagless. Okay? And can you please read that structure? That's right. So, I will give you flagless with the branches of the government written as I touch on the screen. Okay? So, you need to raise the correct flagless. Alright? 
Here we go. Who represents the country in the international community? Group number one. Yes, you got it right. That's right. Alright? Who is the commander in chief? Which branch is this? Group I have the values, right? That's right. Commander in chief is the president. So the president belongs to executive branch. Very good.